Hi everyone, if you don't remember me, my name is Brooke. I showed you how to make fluffy slime and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make one of my favorite healthy snacks and it's roasted chickpeas. So what you'll need is a mixing bowl like this, some olive oil, one can of chickpeas. I already put mine in the bowl. I strained them and I washed them already. lemon pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, dried parsley, dried thyme, and black pepper. So first and foremost, I already washed my hands so that I can just kind of mix everything together and feel like I'm not getting my germs in my food. And like I mentioned before, I already rinsed and drained the chickpeas. So they're in this bowl. So first, first things first, I'm gonna take one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. It's gonna be in this big spoon right here. Do it over the bowl actually. So this is one tablespoon of olive oil and that's all you'll need for this. But of course, if you wanna make more, you would just have to double all of the ingredients that you use or triple or however much more you wanna use. So then I'm gonna be taking my dried parsley and I'm gonna need half of a teaspoon of that. So I'm gonna be taking the half teaspoon measuring spoon and I'm just gonna dip it in here. It can be a little bit more than that. Sometimes I like to do a little bit more. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do a full teaspoon actually so that it's very, makes it a little bit more crunchy I guess. So now I'm gonna be taking my thyme and then I'm also gonna be using half a teaspoon for that. Pretty much all of the spices you'll be using will be half a teaspoon. But you can always add more. What I usually like to do is I mix it together and try, try them before I actually put them in the oven. So then you just pour that in there, kind of spread it out a little bit. Looking good. I'm going to be taking my garlic powder. Also going to need half a teaspoon of that. Using the same spoon. It's kind of a heaping half teaspoon. Because I love garlic powder. <laughs> but it's really up to you how you want to make this. These are just the ingredients that I like to use. And the reason that I like to use them is because it helps the chickpeas get a little bit of a spice to it. And trust me, I don't like spicy food at all. I avoid it at all costs. Oh, this is half a teaspoon of onion powder, by the way. But I try to avoid spicy foods most of the time. But this just adds something really nice to it. It's not going to burn your mouth or make you tear up or anything like that. It's just just a little bit of a extra spice. So now I'm gonna go in with my lemon pepper. I found this recipe for everything else except for the lemon pepper online and it's through tasty.co. Um, they have a lot of really cool recipes on there. You should definitely check it out if you like to find healthy recipes and everything. But I found all these ingredients through that recipe and I wanted to add something of my own, I guess. So I'm gonna be using lemon pepper. And if you don't have lemon pepper, this has black pepper, garlic, oregano, parsley, basil, citric acid, turmeric, and salt. So if you have all those ingredients and you don't actually have lemon pepper, you can probably make it yourself. I'm actually gonna be adding one teaspoon of that 
but I might add more a little bit later because I'm going to try it when it's dry. Now half of a teaspoon of black pepper using the same spoon that I used for all of the other ingredients and spices. By the way, I didn't preheat my oven before this. I should have, but preheat your oven to 400 degrees when you're done with this. Now, you're gonna need a mixing spoon. I'm gonna use this spatula. It's like a silicone spatula, so it's very flexible. And then I'm just gonna mix all of the ingredients together so that they're very, it's, well distributed, all the spices and the olive oil and everything. And I am going to be trying one of these when it's dry just to make sure I don't want to add any more lemon pepper or anything else. Mm. Tastes pretty good to me. You can try when you try it when you're dry, when it's um not cooked or baked like this. You can kind of taste the spice a little bit, and it actually tastes really good. So now, you'll need a baking sheet, and parchment paper like this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to just take a piece of parchment paper like this. It's always kind of hard to cut parchment paper out of the little box that it's in. <laughs> but So then you're just going to put it over your baking sheet like this. And then you're just going to pour out the chickpeas with all the spices on it on to the baking tray. Some of the spice might just be sticking to the sides because of the olive oil. So just make sure to get all of that out and put it on top. And usually what I like to do is I like to just kind of mix the extra little spices around in there to make sure it's evenly distributed. And then just spread out all of the chickpeas. So I put them in the oven. And then I set my temperature to 400 degrees. And the timer I had set at 20 minutes. All right, so I just took them out of the oven. This is what they look like. I also made myself a little scoop of them. So now I can eat them. So overall, this recipe is really, really good. I've made it a couple other different ways before. So let us know in the comments below on our YouTube account whether or not you wanna see different roasted chickpea recipes. Um, some benefits of chickpeas is that they are a good source of fiber and protein. So after you eat a little handful of them, you might feel full or they'll just keep you full longer because of the fiber in them. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy making your roasted chickpeas and leave in the comments below if you'd like to see some other recipes or if you have any ideas for recipes to make and I can try to make them.